just let me encourage you play the things you like for a while let that get in you and then search out the lessons the songs that go along with the things that you like <laughs> This is a lesson for the beginners out there. Uh, if you've been going through my video lessons or finding tab online from other people, trying somebody else's lessons, and you're still struggling with it, if you feel like you're just jabbing at your cigar box guitar, let's talk about this. and Let's take a step back. Stop practicing for a minute. And I want you to learn how to listen to your guitar. There's a lot of things I do on cigar box guitar, the pretty stuff, such as... I put a little delay on to show you. But it's little simple licks like that um, that I came up with simply because I was listening to the guitar and I was falling in love with what I was hearing. Um, to be able to put your slide on a string and even just one string, to hear it go, and you feel where it makes sense almost in your being. That's something to accomplish. Even more than learning the hardest blues song even learning, I don't know, shred metal on a cigar box guitar. Just coming up with discovering the beautiful little sounds that you get from your cigar box guitar, that's worth more than anything else. So let's talk about that. Let's talk about discovering the beauty in the very simple stuff. And hopefully that will get you going on the road to finally start to understand some of these lessons that you're pulling up on the internet. So, I started out this lesson with this. My cigar box guitar is tuned to open G, which is G, D, G. It's three strings, it's fretless. This is the actual cigar box guitar I built in my book, where is it? Back here, Making Poor Man's Guitars. But this is the actual guitar, as you can tell, I've been playing it a lot. Um, there's no frets on it. The frets are marked, and it's a purely slide instrument. Well, this is a recreation of the main cigar box guitar I played from basically 1996 until a couple years ago. And even back in the 90s, I would sit with that guitar, sit on my couch, and because back then it was a new instrument to me, I would just play simple things on there such as and I loved hearing this because you had a root note of G and then this one went from what is that an A to a B and I'm cheating because I have a tuner down here <laughs> G D G so you put your slide on the high string second fret and you go to the fourth fret and all you do is use two fingers and you pluck them both at the same time. So we start out with that slide on the second fret and go to the fourth. Now you can do it fast. You can do it slow. And if you pull the middle string by mistake, it actually sounds better. But what we have here is this, it goes into a major chord, and there's a beauty to this sound. I was always, it always did something to me, just this one stupid little. And this came from me trying to do Blind Willie Johnson's um, Dark Was the Night, Cold Was the Ground on cigar box guitar. And the first part goes. It starts out with that and just there's something happens at least in me it goes beyond what I hear in my ear and it hits me in my heart 
when I hear that chord resolve into a major G chord. Because you can almost hear the sound waves kind of gelling where they're a little bit messed up until that slide hits right over that fret. And so I would just sit there on my couch and do little things like this and play things that made me happy. And even with this stupid little, you know, two note lick, there are so many different things you could do it like it gives you the fast thing or the beauty is in the slow where that slide takes forever to go from the second to the fourth. And then if you want, you can give the slide some tremolo once you hit it. Oh yeah. For a nice chorus effect. So what are the things that you have played on your cigar box guitar that you love the sound of? Something that you feel proud, even though it's one or two notes or seven notes, that made you fall in love with the instrument and not just think you need to hack at it to get a song. Because that's not what this is about. This whole thing is not about building guitars. It is not about learning how to play somebody else's licks. This is about falling in love with music. If, if there's no love of music in the cigar box guitar, if there's no love of music in anything, I wouldn't be doing it. Okay, I don't get on stage um, just because I've practiced so much that I can shred and think that I'm cool. No, if I'm not in love with the music, I'm not playing. In fact, if you've seen, my band has not even played this year. I had some health problems that, that really put a dent in a lot of it, but the other thing was we need to rebuild our show. It needs to get better. And I'm tired of playing the same songs over and over again in the same ways. And so my next thing is to get a big rehearsal space to build a stage to do something more theatrical. But the reason we're not playing is that love isn't there right now. And in order to get that back, there needs to be a rebuilding and to find these new things. Same thing as you're doing, as you're sitting there, just don't be frustrated. Don't be frustrated and let it discourage you. Okay, frustration will come because that's all part of learning, isn't it? But don't let things discourage you. This is a beautiful instrument and there is an infinite, an infinite amount of songs to come out of here. So, find those few licks that make you happy. Find those few things that you enjoy playing. And if you feel funny playing them around a family member because you may not sound great to them, well then find your own little space and go away and do it. And enjoy it. This should be about joy. This should be about peace and there's actually a spiritual element to it. So just let me encourage you, play the things you like for a while, let that get in you, and then search out the lessons, the songs that go along with the things that you like. For me, I like blues and I like this, I guess you could call it, it was originally called New Age music back in the 80s and 90s, whenever I discovered a guy named Michael Hedges. Now, Michael Hedges played a harp guitar, not a cigar box, but I loved his music. And it was melodic, and it was atmospheric, and instrumental. And there was just so much, let me see, I don't know if this delay will work with this or not, but one of his songs was Ready or Not, and I learned to put it on here. <laughs>
as you can see, there is a definite connection between me sitting on the couch going and there's just that, that prettiness that I was going after. So I first discovered a sound that I liked and then I found songs that kind of contained that sound. Try that out. See if it helps. Um, enjoy your guitar. Okay, that's all I got. This is one of those concept lessons where I'm challenging you to relax and uh, find what you like and what sounds good in your ear. My name's Shane Spiel. Yes, Muddy Waters invented electricity. This is one of the new shirts over at guitarrags.com. That's how I support this channel. That's how I keep this channel going. Guitarrags.com for the Cool Blues t-shirts. I was using this King Slide today. That's over at stubbyslide.com. You guys take care. Please let me know what you think in the comments. Um, I want you to love playing. I want you to love what you're playing. I want you to love the stuff that comes out of your hands. So, thanks for watching. You guys take care and uh, see you next time. Thank you.